Welcome to Ecstatic Yoga. I am Grace. This is Xander, our kitty. The ecstatic Yoga kitty cat. He comes and goes. Probably see him a little bit today. We are going to be doing a sun salutation as kind of a warm up and then a warrior flow. And our focus is on fitness and some strength. A little, you know, if you're uh, hiking or you're doing yoga swimming or biking but you want to you're just going to get a little bit of strength in today so it's usually more yin but i'm feeling in a challenging myself physically today and lewis i thought i would offer that to you as well so we're going to get started we're going to use the sun salutation as a warm-up so let's come right to our mats and i'm going to invite you to come to the front of your mat with your feet facing the short edge of your mat. And I'm going to turn just to show you for a moment so you can look. So what we're going to do is this, is we're going to come into our, our loops, which is with John's friend on Sari Yoga. And I like to use this in the mountain to bring us into some a really great postural alignment. So we're going to lift those toes for ankle loop. And feel a little engagement of the calf and shin loop energies. Bring that pelvis neutral, thigh loop, feeling the lift of the knees, engaging those quadriceps. Ribs come up a little bit in kidney loop, moving up. And it's going to come all the way. We're going to bring the chin parallel to the floor. We're going to engage those bondages as we go through those loops. Next loop is going to come up right between the lips, shoulder loop, and it's going to come back. So we're going to feel the shoulders move back and then down the back, down our back. So they're going to drop away from the ears. And then skull loop, strings pulling us up towards the heavens. And just feel the structural alignment as you engage the bandha. This mula bandha is our pelvic floor, Uddiyana bandha, Dalhara right here in the solar plexus area. In and up, Jalandhara bond of the chin comes in and tongue is on the roof of the mouth. And here we are in a very engaged mountain, engaging all those loops, feeling that perfect postural alignment. And I want you to inhale and bring the arms up. I'm going to come back to the front of the mat. And we'll go into a little back extended mountain. And on the exhale, arms come down. We're going to hinge at the hips. So stick that tailbone out, hinging at the hips. And then you hinge them up allow the spine to round, bringing the hands. Can you either come down onto a block or onto the floor? Relax the head. Maybe a couple of yes and no's, gentle movement. Remember, we never want to move into pain. We only back off when there's pain. If you ever do this practice, especially with this fitness focus, if you ever need to take a break, coming halfway up at the table, half forward fold here, and then exhaling back down. Sit down if you need a break, lay on your back if you need a break, or just stop for a moment. Whatever your needs are, be sure to take care of yourself if you need a break. We're going to inhale, lifting the head, and we're going to bring that right leg back behind us into a nice high lunge. Now, you can stay in a low lunge. You can also drop your knee if you like. We're working on a little fitness. So try to challenge yourself into a high lunge. And we're going to come up into that high lunge, pressing that heel towards the earth, bringing that knee right over the ankle, squaring those hips, engaging those bondos, and let's hold this for a few breaths. Feet are parallel with railroad tracks. Shoulders are relaxed down. Deep breaths into the belly as your bondas are engaged. Feel the prana move through your body. And we begin to do just a little pumping. Let's see if we can come back a little bit.
without touching the earth, just letting the hand balance, using the muscles to hold you up. One more breath, and then switching. And if you need a block, come down to a block. Engaging that back thigh. Back up, squaring those hips, and right over the ankle again, gauging those bondages, and three more breaths. And on the exhale, bringing the hands down to the mat, taking that left leg back into a nice down dog, into kind of a rest here. Heels and heart are. Reaching down towards the earth, head between the hands, strong arms. Engaging those bondages and breathe. And moving into some walking the dog. Take the left leg and we're going to reach it up, up to the sky. So we're going to bend that knee and we're going to open up. If you want to move into wild thing, you can bring that foot all the way down. We'll lift the arm up. And breathe. And coming back up. Beautiful job, Bring that leg all the way up. And let's do a couple of knee to elbows. A couple more. We're going to bring that leg down. We're going to take the right leg and bring that up. And then that knee and coming over, either just opening the hip or coming right over into your wild thing and breathe. One more breath. Reaching up and coming back, bringing that leg up, and we're going to come to the elbow, the right knee, the right elbow. A few pumps. Breath flowing. Energy moving. Two more times. Up and then down. And we're going to move into a plank position. So I invite you to go into a full plank if you can, or drop the knee into a half plank position because we're going to be doing push ups. So as many as you can. Just find your push up. And engage the calves as you do this. Anytime you can come down, come into child's pose.
and then again coming into child's pose and rest. All the energy and attention in towards yourself. Great love. Proud of yourself. You totally rock. No one else should ever, ever want to be you. And coming up, and we're going to move into an up dock. So I invite you to just do an up dock for a moment here. And allow the thighs to rest on the earth, uh, restful and relaxed. And whenever you feel ready, you curl those toes and you can lift the body up into a higher up dog. Engaging the quadriceps, engaging the bonds and breathe. And the next exhale. Coming back up into downward facing dog, walking that dog and just relaxing the wrist. <laughs> Coming back to center, we're going to have bring the right leg up, left leg is back. We're going to go into a high lunge on this side. So we're going to simply come straight up into a high lunge. Again, squaring those hips. So that left hip might come forward a little to square, pressing the heel back towards the, the earth. Knee is right over the ankle. The front knee is right over the ankle. Arms are up, shoulders are relaxed down, engaging the bondage, and let's breathe into the back. Just a really gentle, gentle, tiny little moment. And then we're going to twist a little bit. We're going to bring his right hand to suspend up and engage the bondage and breathe. Inhale, reaching up, fingertips, and going to the other side. If you need a block, use a block. Engage the back thigh and breathe. Couple more breaths. Inhaling up and bring the hands back down into a nice high lunge. And we're going to bring the back leg forward into a forward fold. Rest, resting the head. Half forward fold. Down to forward fold. Exhaling. Next inhale. Lifting the head, lifting the heart, coming all the way up. We're going to do one more to breath. Inhale into extended mount, mountain pull back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold, table. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, higher low lunge. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, the high lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway up, 
Mountain pose. Let's bring our hands in front of our heart. And Anjali Mudra, closing our eyes, taking this moment to go inward into meditation, allowing yourself to move through the body. Breath, Vanamaya Kosha, energy. Move to Pratyahara, the emotion, the Vanamaya Kosha. More expanded, more subtle. Vishnamaya Kosha, moving into the Ananda Maya Kosha, into Samadhi. Allow your mind to be silent and still. Move yourself with everywhere yet nowhere in particular. Everything yet nothing. Move the belly as you come back. We'll widen up the stance a little for a nice little warrior flow. And then we're complete. So we're going to move into warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. The front foot is 90 degrees facing the short edge of the mat. Back leg is 30 to 40 degrees. The heel of the front foot is going straight through the arch of my back. Sometimes people like to line up their heels, but that's okay. Either way. Bring the knee over the ankle. It can go back a little bit, but if it goes forward, it starts to put stress on the ankle. So you want to try to keep it from going forward. Back thigh is nice and active and engaged. We're going to, uh, oh, we're in warrior two. Here we're dressing the two. So your hips are facing me. <laughs> Arms out to the side, both the same length. And we are going to turn the head to gaze out over those front fingers. Engaging the bandhas, bringing in the breath. Active pose. Holding the pose a little longer, building more strength. You can right, challenge yourself more. You can bring that lunge a little lower. Two more breaths. Inhaling on your next exhale, bring your hand to the back of the leg, reaching that front arm up into a reverse warrior, gazing up towards the heavens, engaging the bandhas, and breathe. is two days before 4th of July, so there's some fireworks in the background. Inhaling, reaching up, and then exhaling into our side angle. Very little weight on this hand, our thighs holding us up, we're not meeting our weight. Cup of hands, behind you, lots of little variations to this, but find out what works good for you, and Engaging those bondas and breathe.
More breaths. And then you exhale, bringing that leg straight. A nice rest for that front thigh. Wow, coming into Trikonasana Triangle. If you want to use a block, you can come down to a block. Helps keep you, you should be able to be your whole body in alignment. So if there were two walls, one in front of me, one behind me, I could slip right between them, not reaching out in any direction. Engage those bondages and let's breathe. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, bring that hand down to the mat or the block. We'll take that back leg and bring that back leg so it is parallel, it is 90 degrees like the front, parallel like railroad tracks. And we're going to twist into revolve triangle. Parita, you know, the trichinopsis. Opening up the chest, reaching that hand out, and breathe. Engage those bondages, engage that back thigh. Our leg is still straight with a little micro bend. Back heels pressing towards the earth. Two more breaths. Inhaling, reaching up, fingertips up to the heaven, and exhaling them down. And moving down to, you know, two blocks you can use it, but you can just bring the hands down to the mat and resting the chest in towards the front leg and breathing into our pyramid. Still engage those bondages. Next inhale, we're going to move into our Virabhadrasana 1, our Warrior 1. Arms up. Back heel towards the earth, front knee over the ankle. Hips are square, so we're facing forward now. Arms up, shoulders drop down, gazing forward. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Engage the bodies and breathe. Okay, connect the hands. Two more breaths. Next inhale, put one step forward with the back leg. Relaxing hands to the side. We're going to move into Virabhadrasana 3. It's a balancing pose. If you need to a wall or a chair to support you, that's okay. Doing your best. We're going to Hinge forward and bring all, all my weight is in the left standing leg. My right leg is a step behind. Very little weight. I've just got a little weight on the toe here. I'm going to begin to hinge forward. Bring my arms forward. I can have the foot flexed or pointed. Engage the bondages and breathe. Mm -hmm. 
One more breath. And coming down. Good job. Facing forward. We're going to move right into a five pointed star. We're going to feel those five lines of energy, all coming from the solar plexus. Down both legs, into both feet. Up, out both arms. And then one line of energy straight out to the crown. Engage the bondas and breathe. Deep breath into the belly. And then let's relax the hands down onto the hips. I'm going to move into a goddess. And so the first thing I'd like to invite you to do is bring the heels in and the feet are pointing out. Because when we bend the knees, they're going to go over the feet. And I want you to find your squat. Feel where you're at today, how much you want to challenge yourself. You go way down like that. Maybe way, way up like this. Or maybe something. And then bring the arms up, engage those bondas and breathe. Adjust that too. You want to challenge yourself more. You need to take a little break. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Let's inhale, come on up. Beautiful job. We're going to stick that tailbone out and we're going to hinge forward. We're going to move into wide leg forward fold. You can use a block for this too if you like. Come down to a block or you can just come down straight to the earth. And we're just going to relax. Wide leg forward fold. I'm a little sweaty because it's like 100 degrees out today. Maybe more, I'm not sure. And if you want to do a little side to side stretch, feel good to your body. So I'm forceful. Coming up, we're going to again head and hinge on the mat. Okay, we're going to move to the other side now. Bring that back foot 30 to 40, front foot is 90. We are going to do Vira Bhadrasana 2, so hips are facing me. Front knee is going to be right over the front ankle. Back thigh is nice and engaged. Arms out to the side. Facing forward, engage those bondas, and then turn the head to gaze out over the front and the right fingertips. You can find a dristi if you like. Virabhadrasana two. Breathing into the belly, engage the bondas. Hold. Be the powerful warrior. Moving in divine action, following your heart and your intuition. Living your life, the joy of the experience with this abundance of self-love, radical self-love. And none of it is ego or pompous. <laughs> Just love. Two more breaths.
And your next exhale, resting the back hand on the back thigh, reaching the front arm up, keeping that knee right over the ankle, gazing up towards the heaven, engage the bodies and breathing in reverse warrior. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling into side angle, engaging those bondages and breathe. Keeping those bondages engaged. Two more breaths. Inhale, reaching into the fingertips. Exhale, straightening that front leg and bringing that front arm down to the block of the earth. Reaching. Nice trikonasana, front leg a little micro bend, engaging those bondages and breathe. The 4th of July, fitness. <laughs> Ecstatic yoga. Two more breaths. Inhale, reaching the hands up. And the exhale, moving into the Parita Trikadasana. Revolve triangle. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, coming down into pyramid. Resting the chest on that front leg. Relaxing. Little break here. And we're going to move into our warrior one, there, Bhadrasana one, coming up into a high lunge with that back. Front foot is 90, back is 30 to 40, knee, front knees over the ankle. Find your level of challenge. Hips are squared, so that, that left hip might come a little forward. Square it out. Engage those bondages and breathe. Facing forward. Powerful warrior. A warrior of soft love. One more breath. And then the exhale. Take a step forward with that back leg. And we're going to move into warrior three with a little balance. So if you do need the wall or a table, feel free. Balancing, hinging the hips, getting that back leg parallel, arms 
forward. And breathe. One more breath. And coming back. Beautiful. We're going to go into a standing yoga mudra. We're going to do one more asana. We're going to do a boat and some stomach crunches while you're in boat. So bring the hands up behind, moving forward. And taking a moment to really honor the heart. The heart is higher than the head. The head is lower than the heart. So we're honoring the heart as we are the eye. Captain of the slave. Not the head, but the heart. And loosen the hands. And we're going to come down to the mat and we're going to move. Prepare for a boat. So with boat, we're going to be balancing on this these sits bones. Let's see if I'm there. And you can go into a half boat, like lifting those feet and having those those yoga legs parallel to the earth, hands behind the knee to hold it. That helps you. Or if you can go into a full, means a full boat. Engage those bonds and breathe. Two more breath. Any time you can go into half boat. One more breath. When you're at so you're coming into half boat. Back. That's you. Good job. And the next thing we're going to do is just some crunches, some boat style crunches. And then we'll move into a short spasana to the fireworks. And we're done with our fitness static yoga practice. Okay, so we're going to be balancing on that, those sits bones, that's it. and we're going to move into crunches. Stop at any time, take a break, and go back into it. Try to go to 100. Lost count. Stop there. You can continue on if you like. And if you're ready, you can come down onto your back. And I invite you to bring those knees into the chest and rock a little bit. And then getting into a nice Savasana pose, allowing the legs to be separated, feet resting out, hands out. Feeling the whole body relax, all the muscles, all the bones, circulatory system in the heart, the digestive organs, lungs. In the 
objective system, brain and the nervous system, just relaxing the lymph system. Feeling the energy and aliveness to plug your heart. And while you're awareness and you're noticing sensations as practice generated within your being. Sending your body gratitude and love. It works. Taking a deep breath into the belly, coming back. And coming up to a seated position. <laughs> so you can hear the noise, fireworks. It's almost Fourth of July. Celebrating our freedom. We can travel freely. As a mountain, we can hike. Choose our religion. Choose everything. We're free. Human beings have. Freedom. We're grateful for our Constitution and Bill of Rights in this country that we have these freedoms. We are able to choose God in my choice, political preference. Grateful for that freedom. So thank you, Fourth of July, for that. And, um, there's interesting background music for this fitness. Ecstatic yoga video. And, uh, so grateful for everything. Thank you for joining me. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe runs. I honor the place in you which is of love, light, truth, and peace. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for Ecstatic Yoga. Please go to ecstaticyoga.studio and check out more information on our yoga retreats and teacher trainings. I'm wishing you a most beautiful and most blessed day. Mm -hmm.